What's up guys? How are you all doing? Welcome to another Alexa Pi tutorial video. Today we are going to be checking out how to create a mute button. So that way you can turn off your microphone so that you can talk about Alexa behind her back and she will not know. So guys, view that sounds like something that you would love to check out. Please stay right here. It's coming up on MI Sperry. Okay guys, so I've got the old pie fired up here. So first things first that we have to do is, I believe the Jesse uh, image comes with a basic version of wiring pie. So if you do GPIO-V, you will get like a basic version. But in order for us to be able to, sorry my nose itches, in order for us to be able to uh, utilize the C, coded part of it, which is what I would like to do, we are going to be having to reinstall it. So first thing we have to do is we have to do a sudo uh, apt get, and then we have to do a purge wiring pi. Sorry, it's on a monitor over here, so I've turned my, I've turned my head. So we're going to do that, and that should purge that out. Once we are done with that, we will basically uh, clone and build this from source. So that way it won't be a problem. Alrighty, so we're going to run all that. And then I'll put the link to this in the description. So first thing we have to do is we have to sudo apt get install git core. So we want to make sure that we actually have git. Yes, looks like we do. All right. So now we're going to do a, uh, let's see, we're going to git clone git git dot dragon dot net wiring by. So we should be able to do that. So hopefully we are cloning that in. Once that finishes, then we will go perform the next steps. So these are going to be all the steps for installing uh, wiring pi. So if you're going to bear with me. We may pause here and let this do its thing. Okay guys, I actually I, I had typed it wrong so I had to uh, so I, I, I had to just type it in right. So see there it is. I'm gonna do it for you right. I paused the video for a second because I had to I had to see why it wasn't going. So I am going to redo it for y'all. So what it was is I just had pasted it in the wrong. I when I typed it I, I mistyped. So this is what it should look like. It should connect. It should go grab it. So now that we have it, we can CD to it. And then we need to get uh, pull origin. Make sure already up to date. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure. So now we're going to do a dot slash build, and this should uh, build all the wiring pi stuff, and it should be able to um, create all the header files and all the things that we need. So we're going to go ahead and we'll let that do its thing. Looks like that has finished. So now that that is finished, we'll go ahead on with the coding of this bad boy. Okay, so I have cleared things out now. So let's go ahead and check out the uh, coding for this. So I'm on VI. I've already written a script um, here. So this is what we're doing. I have connected up pin uh basically on the actual header it is i'm going to look at my sheet here on the actual header it is actually pin 11 so gpio 17 now here's the thing with wiring pi you have to look on their website and see what the actual pin numbers are okay and what they're gonna be because they number them uh differently so the pins that you choose you just just go on the website i'm gonna put a link in the description you'll be able to see um what uh 
what what pins are, are labeled what so far as wiring pi and it's it's to do with that whole the way broadcom numbers it and other things so anyway i am using a uh, pin literally if you count the pins on the raspberry pi i am using pin number 11 okay so pin number 11 is what i'm doing and tying it to ground the reason i chose that one is because the ground pin and pin 11 and pin 10 or no pin 9 is ground and pin 11 is uh the gpio pin that i'm looking for so having said that um Number no, number seven is what that pin is actually called under uh, wiring pipe. So all I did was I did the wiring pipe setup, change the pin mode to input mode because I want to input. I want to check to see what it is. And I didn't do anything as far as internal pull-ups. And so internal pull-ups are on by default. So this pin is always being pulled high until you pull it low. So knowing that... What I did was I said, if not digital read seven, which that means if when I read this, when I read, when I do a digital read, if it comes back zero, then I want to do my thing because it, like I said, it's always being pulled up and I connected my button. Well, I'll show you the bench here in a minute. And when you push the button, it pulls the pin low. Okay. So when it pulls it low, that's when you know that uh, that it's actively been triggered. You've, you've pushed the button. And like I said, I'll show you the bench uh, here in just a second, and we'll see how it's all hooked up. Okay? So there is, boy, if I could keep people from going in and out of a door, we would actually not have that slamming sound in the background. But anyway, um, we got digital read 7. Uh, so we're checking to see if that's been pushed zero. Now, here's a trick that I do is I put on this while loop. And what that's for is it's so that if someone pushes the button and holds down on it, it's not just sitting there running the script over and over and over and executing what's in the if. Because basically, if it's zero, it's going to run this. And then the minute it's done running, it'll loop back to the top. So basically, it'll sit there and just activate this over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over if someone holds down the button. So what this ensues is while it's basically pressed while it's zero um, I just ended it and it's just a, it's just been an infinite while loop basically so if you push it down it's not going to do anything until you let back off of it so once you let off the button and this uh, this uh, becomes one again it'll make this false the while loop will drop out and then we'll come to the system command that I want to run now through all kinds of documentation I found out that the command to toggle the microphone on and off using the ALSA mixer is the command is a mixer and I hope that I hope that you guys can see this I hope this is large enough but it's a mixer dash c space one now I believe that one is the number of the device so if you have like multiple microphones you have you have to I can't remember what the command is but you have to figure out which device number it is but for me I just have the one microphone that's USB plugged in so it's number one and then it's s set space mic space toggle and yes it actually toggles it which is what we want we want every time you push the button you want it to be either on or off or on or off right so you want it to toggle it so that's it that's it for the command and that's all the simpler it is now once you're done writing that script you will need to compile it so the compiler command i still have it saved here from when i was working on it is going to be this one it's going to be gcc dash wall with capital w dash o for output Okay, then you're going to name what the output executable is going to be named. I just named mine Alexa Mute. Okay, and then you give it the source file that you're using, which mine was called Alexa Mute uh, .c. Okay, and then don't forget this: the dash l wiring pi. And what that is is, I believe that's the environment variable to go look up uh, where all this stuff is. The minute you have that in, gonna press Enter. Should get no errors. If you have typed something wrong or whatever, you'll get compiler, you know, normal compiler stuff that will throw errors and warnings and stuff if you've, you know, made mistakes, missed semicolons or, or parentheses or something. So standard stuff. Now if we take a look, you should see that we have this, this Alexa mute application now in here that is executable and all that all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run it now, and then I'm going to press the button. But first, I'm going to switch up. I have it actually on my bench behind me if you can see that i'm going to move it over here on the bench next to me so i can fire up the camera that's here and i can put that on the screen right down below all right so let me take a break for a second and i'm going to switch that over to this bench and we'll take a peek at all of it okay guys so i got that uh brought up here so um 
basically what we got, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of have to turn to the side to be able to show you all of this. And I kind of I tried to make it darker over here. I'm kind of getting washed out. Excuse the the blinds, but the sun the afternoon sun comes in here and it gets crazy. So what we got, guys, is we've got our button. Okay. There's our GPIOs. So one, two, so it's pins one, three, five, seven, and nine. Okay, so I think I I said that probably wrong. So it's seven and nine. I'm I I apologize. So seven and nine. So it does correspond to pin seven. So seven and nine. So one, three, five, seven and nine. Seven is GPIO four. And let's see, a nine is ground. So basically what I'm doing when I push this button is I'm grounding out that pin. Okay. So that's all I'm doing is just grounding those two pins together. There's my microphone. I'm using this little USB microphone that I got uh, off of Amazon. Um, if you check out my uh, original Raspberry Pi videos, I, uh, I put a link in the description as to how to get this if you like this little microphone. Anyway, it does pretty good. It reaches quite a ways. I can be quite a ways from it and holler at Alexa and it actually does work. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to enable the script and then I'll be able to uh, push this button and hopefully mute this and then that way I can yell at her and she won't uh, she won't respond or whatever. So let's go ahead and back to our coding here. We're going to dot slash Alexa mute. We're gonna run our software. Now, what we should see is when you run that command, that command should uh, output what, what it's doing, whether it's turned it on or turned it off. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna press the button. So use just my finger here, push, and there it is. And if you notice down here at the bottom, oh man, my mouse goes away, let me, yeah, there we go. You see it says off, okay? So now if I press it again, we should get the same command and it should say on. And now it says on. Okay, so that's how we can shut it off. Now, I've been charging the uh, speaker because, like a dummy, I left it on. So let's see if we can see if we can hear it. Okay, connecting up this little this little speaker. Connecting up this, this little speaker, this little foam speaker. You might recognize the speaker from my Christmas uh, one when I made it. Okay, so let's test things, see how it's going. Alexa. What time is it? The time is 4.07 p.m. Okay, so she does respond. So now let's see what happens when I mute it. Push, whoops, get my whole hand out of the way. Push the button, push it. Alexa. Aha. Uh -huh. Alexa. Ah, good, she can't hear me. Now if I press it again. Alexa. What time is it? It's 4.08 p.m. Okay, so there we go. All right, guys, so that is as slick as that gets. So now we got one more thing is obviously we don't want to be manually starting this every single time. So let's go ahead and add it to our auto start, shall we? So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to cancel out of that. So remember how to do that from the last video. We're going to CD to dot configure or dot config, sorry. We're going to CD to, let me scoot in. Ugh, I feel like I'm like miles away from my computer. We are going to CD to the, uh, uh, let's see, I think it was the LX, uh, what was it? LX session. LX session. Oops, <laughs> not VI. I'm getting, I'm getting VI happy here. Gee whiz. Eventually, eventually, eventually we will VI it. LXD pi, I don't know that user. There it is. Now we auto it. So I'm just going to copy this and change this to mute. All right. Whoa. Hey. Yeah. Alexa Pi mute. All right. Right quit. All right. So now, hopefully, this will run at startup. So let's go ahead and shut down. Whoops. We need to sudo it. And we will reboot this. Oh, my. Windows is getting angry at me. Okay, that's fine. So we'll close that out. Um, I'll restart my putty session. And mere moments. Putty over here. There it is. Okay, so we'll give it a few more seconds. Let's see, I believe I heard the microphone go. So I bet it's it's probably good to go. So let's give it a shot. 
Aha! Here we are. Now I'm going to give it a little bit before I start hollering at it, just because um, it takes a moment for that to start. And in fact, I may go ahead and VNC to it. Let me grab some, grab my VNC in the software, just so we can see if it's running. Okay, look at that. Okay, so it did pop up. So it does look like it it is running. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out because we don't need it. All right. So now back to what we were doing. All right. Let's give her a shot, shall we? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 4, 10 p.m. Okay, good. So now let's try our mute button. I pushed the button, so now let's give it a shot. Alexa. I didn't hear a beep. Alexa. All right, so it seemed to successfully mute it. Let's try getting back out of it. Let's push it again. So I pushed it again. Alexa, what day is today? Today is Saturday, May 27th. Bam! All righty. All right, so that, guys, is how you create your own custom uh, mute button using the GPIO of your uh, Raspberry Pi along with the wiring Pi. Uh, stack, I guess you'd call it, uh, SDK, that comes uh, free that you can download from GitHub. Well, guys, I hope that you like this video. Please share it, like, and subscribe so you don't miss any more awesome videos. I promise you, though, we've got some Arduino videos coming up. I just kind of wanted to put the finishing touches on this Alexa one. I have had some requests for the other assistants. Um, Microsoft has not released Cortana yet for the Windows 10 IoT, which is the uh, Windows uh, operating system that you can install on a Raspberry Pi. But n rest assured, everybody, the minute they release Cortana for the Raspberry Pi, oh, you bet we are doing it. Right now, Google has it. Uh, one of my YouTubers uh, had told me and mentioned about that and looked at it. Google has released the Google Assistant. Um, however, I think the wake word agent does not work exactly uh, with it just yet, just yet. It's probably in the process of being uh, activated. But I will wait for that because that's the best thing is you can say, okay, Google, kind of like you can do with, with Alexa over here and uh, be able to wake it up. So anyway, but guys, thanks for watching. As always, uh, check out the t-shirts. I got TG t-shirt, or uh, not TG t-shirts. That's another t-shirt manufacturing. Zazzle.com <laughs> forward slash M-I Sperry. Uh, check out some t-shirts there. Got some awesome swag. It helps the channel and plus gives you something cool to wear around too as well. And check me out on Twitter. I'm at M-I Sperry E-E. -E. Check me out on Instructables as well and Facebook. I am now part of Facebook. So I'm at facebook.com slash M-I-Sperry-E-E. -E. So, or I think it's just M-I-Sperry. Either case, it's in, it's in the description. Check me out there. Follow me, all that jazz. And guys, that's enough time, or I've got enough time put in now that let's go ahead and end it now. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.